to this channel if you're new here make sure to subscribe and make sure to follow my social medias and make sure to follow my nail page of course so today i am bringing you all a how to break in your brush video and hopefully this is helpful this is what i do and what i learned um this is the brush that i bought is the panna kolonsky it's a number 10 and this is in my Amazon list. It will be down below where it says shop by Amazon. All my nail supplies that are from Amazon are right there. So, like I said, hopefully this helps you. Breaking in your brush is very important. So, make sure to always do this every time you buy a new brush. Correct me if I'm wrong with anything, by the way. So, this is how it looks. Like I said... It's a new brush. It's cute. Everybody said that this brush was good. So I'm like, let me see what everybody's talking about. This is the actual brush that I use. It's a Kolonsky brush, a Panna Kolonsky brush. It's from Amazon as well. A number 10. And then this one is a number 8. And it's a Kolonsky brush as well. But the marble one, the white marble, I got it. White and black marble, I got it in downtown LA. And then of course the other two are from amazon like i said shop my amazon um when you take that plastic thing off make sure to not put it back because it will mess up your bris bristles um so make sure to not put it back after you take it off so we're gonna start off by just gently taking off the starch because when you first open a brush it has a lot of starch and i hope well, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see all the white stuff that's going to come out. But I'm just going to start by doing this. And just doing this until most of the stuff for mostly everything is out. So when you're doing this, you are going to see white stuff come out. All the starch. And the camera doesn't let you see all the white stuff. But at this point, I was seeing a lot of white stuff coming out. And I'm just brushing my brush on a paper towel and just flicking it back and forth softly. Okay, so like I said, just keep doing it until you know all the white stuff is gone. Like, you don't see no more white stuff. And so, I just want to let y'all know that some people do pinch their acrylic brush with some, like, pliers and stuff or whatever. And this is optional if y'all want to do it. I will not be showing you this in my video. I will link the girl that does this in her video down below in the description if you would like to pinch your acrylic brush um like i said that's optional because i know some people like their brush flat so that's what they do all right y'all so on the side get some warm water warm water not cold not hot warm because if you get cold water it will mess up your bristles and if you get hot water as well they will mess up so make sure you get warm water we're just going to dip it and start doing this to our brush just going to dip it in there and if you don't want to go get it in like a dish or whatever then just lightly go under the sink and just run your brush under the sink and then we are just going to wipe it on the towel and after make sure to have another bowl or another dish with a little bit of monomer i put i mix it up with monomer and a little bit of brush cleaner i mixed it up but of course you could just get monomer or you could just use the warm water 
but like I said I mixed the monomer with some brush cleaner and I'm just going to do the same thing here and then I'm just going to clean it and after we are done with this we are going to start shaping our brush and I will show you guys how we are going to start shaping our brush and you know every brush is different so you know you shape it however your brush is if it's flat then it's flat but something that I learned is that that side where it says panna cologne ski and all of that that's the side that you are going to flat out your brush so we're gently going to flat out our brush that way we are going to flatten out like this so make sure to flatten out where it says panna cologne ski or whatever the brush says make sure to flatten it out right there because that's the right side that you are supposed to correct me if i'm wrong but that's what i learned that that's the correct way and so that's how we're going to start shaping it that is all i do to break in my brush so i hope this was helpful to your friends and family to subscribe to me like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications on and i'll see you in the next video bye this is how all my brushes look by the way uh handles need some cleaning so don't mind that but i'll see you in the next video bye thank you for everything